Hi there. Have you noticed that outside the spiders are really busy building webs? First thing in the morning when there's dew on them, they look beautiful. So our craft is to make a spider web today. Here's mine. Watch the video and it will show you how to do it. Making a spider's web. Now, this is really quite easy to do for the preparation for the adult, not, needs a bit more help for the children. You will need a small paper plate, you will need scissors, you will need some wool, it can be one colour or several colours, you will need some glue and a picture of a spider which you could draw yourself or find online. You will need a ruler. Uh, you will need some tape. Now I'm going to be using double sided tape and I recommend this because it's a whole lot easier for the children but you can quite easily use standard sticky tape. So preparation wise you need to get your plain plate, plate and cut little notches all the way around. So you can see little notches here and there. I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 notches roughly spaced around it. Easy peasy. Now, if you're using the double sided tape, the next thing you need to do is peel off some strips of tape and put strips on. Can you see here that there's a strip here, there's a strip there, strip there, strip there. Now this particular type of tape I got hold of actually has some edges which makes it really easy to pull off. This one doesn't. It's a bit more of a nightmare to get the top layer off and then you can leave it with the sticky bit. Once you've done that the plate is ready. You need to get your spider, whether it's a plastic spider or a picture of a spider that you've drawn or found online, entirely up to you. And then you need to cut some wool. Now I've cut lots of different colours. Each piece is roughly 30 centimetres long. So like that. You can cut them beforehand or you can cut them as you go along as the children tell you what colour. Good tip if you're going to do lots of the same colour, it's very simple to unravel a load so it's not all tangled up and just wrap it round your ruler like this. Whoop. Do that a couple of times. I'm only going to do that many. Hold it still and cut the end. And then making sure you're holding all the bits, put your scissors underneath, cut that end, scissors down that end, cut that end. And your different pieces are ready. So, you're ready to get going. The first thing to do is to glue your spider onto your plate. Don't need very much glue for this. A little bit of glue and stick it on. There's the spider. Now, the rest is really easy. What you'll need to do before you can start, before the children can start now, is to peel off the pack the, the backing on the double-sided tape if you're using it. And then your child needs to choose a piece of wool. They're going to stick it in one piece, take it through a gap, across to another one, over the back and stick it on. 
And that's all there is to it. And they can keep choosing a piece of wool. So I don't want to put it down too much because it does stick. Stick it on, throw a gap, and put another one. Stick it on. Now you can see that with the double sided tape, this is really, really quick and simple for the children. They're just whacking it on and over the back, and over it goes. And it just sticks. It does stick to your fingers a bit, so you might need to hold it for them. If you're using standard tape, you will need to take a bit of tape off each time and then put it on to hold it in place, take it round the back and put another piece on. You can see that that's a lot more labour intensive. Now that's how I've done this one. Uh, very simple, very easy and once they get the hang of it they really enjoy it. If you've got slightly older children who want to join in with this they can do a slightly more complex version which is using just one colour and you have a long piece so you'll have a big long piece that you need to be rolled into a ball and you start it off go back and, and start across it, and then you go round the back of the notches uh, it could go right across the back as well and you just have to have two ends you don't really need the double sided tape for that to get a really complex spider now I'm just going to keep going with this and I shall come back to you in just a moment. So you can see that I've covered that up. I've got several uh, bits of wool coming out from the different notches in most cases. Absolutely fine. The back looks a right mess, which is not a problem. However, what you will find is that as soon as you put this down and leave it for any length of time, it will stick. Uh, it's not sticking very well at the moment because I've got so much here, but as soon as you put any pressure on it, it does stick. It's just a right mess. So if you're doing this one, I thoroughly recommend that you cut a piece of paper smaller than the, the plate and you stick it on the back so that the double-sided tape that hasn't got wool on it sticks to that and not to everything else. And there you have your spider web. Hi there, here's my spider web. The spider is hidden inside the web. Do make yours and then put a picture of your spider up on the Facebook page. Take care, look after yourselves. Bye.